What's up, everybody? What the fuck is going on? What's really going on, motherfuckers? What's really going on? So, it's been a beautiful two days because finally we got some motherfucking sun. It was raining and now I have some sun in my skin and I feel so alive. I don't know. When the sun, when I feel the sun in my back or in my face, I feel like I'm rejuvenating, you know? It's like when you get some good ass fucking dick. You know what I'm talking about, females? When you get that good loving, and then you wake up the next day, and you're just like, oh, yeah, yes, world. I could take the world. Yeah, that's how I feel. I just feel happy because, I don't know, just a happy ass bitch. You guys know me. But anyways, I wanna talk about this. I already did a video of part one. This is part two. How children need a need a male figure in their lives, like their dad, or a good male figure. Um, I got a um actually I got a DM from a girl, and she was telling me how she really tried to work it out with her baby daddy, but he would hit her. He would like he even put a gun on her. He did all kinds of crazy shit. And then the mom, her baby daddy's mom wasn't nice his sister everybody was giving her a hard time and she told me that she really tried i'm not talking about those females that really try because if a motherfucker hits you the fuck get the fuck out of there my dad used to hit my mom and i don't even know how she put up with him 14 motherfucking years okay because um if mario would hit me like i would leave his ass i wouldn't even call the cops on him because i don't want him to have a bad record but i would leave him but anyways um my battery was gonna die. So let's say you already tried, he keeps cheating on you, he's fucking with you and treating you bad. Okay, so now you're a single mother and you're all good, right? Because my mom and me and my sister, she, my mom was single for eight years after my dad left when I was five. She was single for eight years. We were so happy, we were going out on Sunday, we have our little Christmas, our little Thanksgiving, it was just us. I felt like as long as it was us, nobody could fuck with us we didn't have much but it was just us we were like our little team we had each other's backs you know she would go to work she would call me when she get to work she would call me when um she would call me i would call her when i would get home from school and i would wait for like two hours and then she got home it was a good system right but then when i turned 13 um she decided to get a boyfriend well, this guy would always chase her. Like, we would go walking to church, and he would always follow her. I never liked this guy because I had a feeling he was, like, too young for my mom. My mom was, like, in her late 30s, and this motherfucker was, like, young as fuck. I don't know how old he was, but he looked really young. And I just had a bad feeling, and then my mom, I would tell my mom, don't talk to him. And my mom didn't talk to him at the beginning, but then she started talking to him, right? Anyways, he convinced her. They didn't even ask me if I approved. He didn't even care, like, oh, if I liked him or anything. He didn't give a fuck. Like, he just liked my mom, and he just wanted to get it in with her. And my mom was like, oh, she just fell, like, in love with him. She fell in lust and in love with him. I'm not even going to lie. Like, you could tell they, re they were really attracted to each other. But I always had a thing with it because I was like, okay, so if you want to be part of the family, why aren't you even trying to be nice to me? Why aren't you even trying to talk to me? Like, what the fuck? So he moved in, I was 14 years old. And um, I asked him one time, can you teach me how to drive? And he's like, no. Like he didn't care about me. And that's what I don't like when females get a, a boyfriend. Okay, they, it doesn't work out with the fucking baby daddy. But they just like, in, the, in a month they're going out with this guy and they're going out with the other guy and they're going out with, like this, your child sees that. Your child sees that you're just one guy and, and it's going to fuck with the baby, uh, the child's mind. Okay, maybe the, they're like two or three. They're not going to remember. But what, what what happens when they're like five or six or seven? You're going to remember your mom was some, doing some hoish stuff. You know, don't give your pussy to any fucking random ass guy just because you don't want to be alone. Just because you want to show your friends that you have a boyfriend. No, you should have thought about that before. Now you have a child. Now you need to put your child first. You know, you're, it's, 
it first is your child, then it's you, then it's your vagina. It's not your vagina, then you, then your fucking boyfriend, then your baby. Your child is the first thing as a single mother that you need to think about. Because that child is going to believe that it's okay to be with different guys. You know, it's not okay. So then um, I was 15 and I remember that they told me in the Boys and Girls Club that I could work um, part time. So I was looking through like my mom's paper, her junk or whatever. And I found this paper and it was like my mom's name and his name. And it was like, they got married. When I saw that shit, it just broke my heart in a million pieces because my mom couldn't even fucking tell me, oh, Erica, by the way, I got married to him. They didn't even fucking tell, tell me. They hid that shit from me because they knew I was against it. They knew I wasn't fucking with him because he wasn't fucking with me. Like I say, you fucks with me, I fucks with you. That motherfucker wanted to be with my mom, but he didn't fuck with her children? Come on now, mom. Like, she fucked up right there. And I've told her before, and we thought about it, but I mean, that's the past. Because everybody makes mistakes, but she really fucked up right there. <sighs> because that motherfucker just had a go, and he didn't, and he left. So then after that, after that happened, I just went crazy. Like... I started leaving the house for like a week. I used to would go with my friends. I would ditch. I would um, the past my curfew. I got to run away from the cops. I did all kinds of fuckery. And guess what? Guess who I blamed it on? I blame it. Oh, I don't have a dad, and my stepdad doesn't like me, and my mom prefers him over me because I felt like that motherfucker left that that my mom left me for that motherfucker. You know, and if you if you have a child, your child shouldn't feel like like he doesn't have you anymore. He shouldn't feel like, oh, I'm in I'm in her way. Like she has her own thing going on with that guy. She, you as a mother should make your child feel like you are the, that child is a center and your boyfriend should put in work. You know, he wants you only you no motherfucker. I have, if I had a child, you want me, you have to be with my child too. Put your child first. Like my husband, he has his stepdad um, started raising him since he was seven. I swear to God, when I met my, um, my husband and his, and his stepfather, I had no idea that I was his stepfather. That man treats my husband like he is his blood. He ever needs anything, he ever needs to talk about something. My husband says that when um when my step when his stepdad and his mother started dating, he would take them both out to eat. He would take them both to Disneyland. He would bring flowers to his to his, my husband's mom and bring him like a little car. That's the way you fucking do it. That's a good role model of a man right there. And guess what? My my husband grew up with the mentality that a man takes care of his woman, a man loves his woman because that's what he see, he saw with um his stepdad. If my husband would have seen all oh, that he hits them and he doesn't work, my husband would have been probably in a different way. So when my mom got married behind my back, I didn't give a fuck anymore. I just and that's what happens to children that don't have a, a father figure. They feel fucking lost. They feel like. Like, what's going on? They feel like they don't even belong. It's a bad feeling. Trust me, I lived it. And then when my mother got pregnant, I was 16, and my mother was pregnant, and it was just about them, like my stepdad and my mom and their new baby. And me and my sister were over here like, whoa, what about us? What about us, though? What happened? We didn't have no more like little family, like my mom, my sister and me, it wasn't a unit anymore. It was like my sister and me, my mom, her husband, and um, their new baby. It's shit like this that will break a fucking person. I swear to God, if I would have kept going the way the fuck that I was going, I would probably be in fucking jail right now or fucking dead or on drugs. But I feel like what saved my life was... When I got with my husband, I was 18, 
and he was like treating me good and I left with him and I would like talk to him and tell him everything that happened to me and then I feel like I got my own family you know and then my stepdad whatever he he left my mom because he cheated on her that's a whole fucking other story but I'm telling you moms out there you single moms don't believe don't fall for these fuck boys if you can't work it out with your baby daddy you know i know shit happens don't fall for a fucking fuck boy because there's so many fucking weirdos out here these men they will go if you have a daughter they will fucking fucks with you so they could fuck with your daughter later like don't think oh he would never know you have to stay awake and stay woke and start watching because you never know these motherfuckers there's so much shit going on there's so many fucking sickles and shit even if you have a son be careful because this man your boyfriend at the beginning he's a stranger you need to let him put in work so then you'll fucking trust that motherfucker but for my best advice is if you have your husband your baby daddy or whatever try to work it out with him because you're if you don't work it out with him, you're going to have to work it out with another motherfucker. Another random motherfucker. And it's the same fucking story. So might as well try to have your family, you know, your real family together. I'm just saying, these are my, this is my advice. This is my motherfucking opinion. And it's my real story. This is what the fuck I have to say. Take it or leave it, bitch. I fucking said it. And to my bird gang over here, supporting me like always. I love you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the love. If you fucks with me, I fucks with you. Bird gang, 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 motherfuckers.